was talking about Nenefar Colonge when I uh, mistook Ollie McGurn for him earlier. And Albert Bartlett, winner two seasons ago, third in this last time around, possibly slightly underestimated. Yeah, I think he'll run well. I think good ground is fine for him. He can be a bit slipshod at some of his jumping. He tends to get round, actually. He's got his own way of doing it. And any horse who's run well in this race before, you have to respect. It suits a certain type of horse, and he clearly revels in these conditions. Tatterden, how about him? No. I think he's a horse who's been disappointing. Favourite of the article last year. I think he's been largely disappointing uh, since. OK, an next small ranger. He, his jumping seems to be good enough for this contest these days, but it had been patchy in the past, but certainly it's much improved this season. I think we're heading for an off for the William Hill Trophy. Let's go and join Richard Hawes once again. And they're off and racing for the William Hill Trophy handicap chase, three miles and half a furlong in front of the field, and heading towards the first of 19. Razor Royale Chief Dan George and Joe Lively are amongst the first ones to show. Which in the field over it. Uh, ben Salem made a mistake at the very first, right at the rear of the field as they head on towards the second. Joe Lively it is who settled down in front, the course specialist, leading from Comply or Die in the red cap. Chief Dan George wider out with Stan on the outer of Razor Royale. OG up the inside of Tatna as they prepare to take fence number two. Niche Market takes it in midfield. New Alco was the last one to rise. At this stage, the package is held up towards the outside of the field as they turn now towards the next fences, which are three, four, and five, and they're plain water and open ditch. So Joe Lively leading the field from Chief Dan George, beat the boys the grey out wider as they take fence number three. Chief Dan George not as fluent as some there, and uh, kicks for free was another who made a mistake towards the rear of the field. So on towards the water jump, Joe Lively comply or die. Chief Dan George and beat the boys are the ones that uh, lead early. Still a long, long way to go. Uh, just behind the leaders, uh, Stan, Niche Market, Offshore Account, with Nenefar, Colonge, Tatton and Razor Royal and OG. They're making up the second wave as they head towards an open ditch, which Joe Lively and OG made quite a serious mistake towards the inside. The rider was pitched up the neck there. Joe Lively had jumped it slowly on the inner. Whether that had distracted the horse, I'm not sure, but it was an error by OG as they're on towards uh, fence number six. And the back markers over at Officier de Reserves under restraint towards the rear. Kicks for free, Ben Salem, and also New Alco still towards the tail. The package remains two-thirds of the way back through the maybe slightly more. White cap, green spots, nosebound towards the outside of the field as they approach another open ditch. And comply or die it is who's leading now. And uh, we lose there nowhere. Brings down Exmoor Ranger, brings down Casey Jones. Casey Jones, Exmoor Ranger, both put out of the race there by nowhere's departure. So three of them are out of the contest at that fence as they begin the turn downhill. Horses seem to be quickly on their feet. Comply or die and Joe Lively it is from Chief Dan George who cut out the running in fourth place is Stan. Razor Royale from Niche Market. Offshore account beat the boys and Nenefar Colonge are all spotted a little wider of the others. Character buildings in midfield. The second of the greys on the inside of Noble Lord Ben Salem and the package. The two market leaders are side by side at this fence. As they take it, kicks for free New Alco and the t'other one are towards the rear of the field. So running down towards the ninth. Joe Lively, Comply or Die and Chief Dan George in company with Stan. They are the first quartet to rise at this fence. Again, just watching them over it. Not the best of leap by theatrical moment, and kicks for free continues to be niggled along towards the tail of the field. So turning back with a circuit under their belts, and apart from that one fence where we lost three, courtesy of Nowhere's Fall, uh, the other fencing has generally been pretty good as Comply or Die uh, leads Joe Lively with Stan towards the inner. Right up the inside, Razor Royal. OG after that mistake just recovering the position slightly in about seventh or eighth as they take the fence in front of the stands, which character building was slow. So the order as they set out on their final circuit, Comply or Die, red cap on the stand side of Joe Lively. Chief Dan George, white face towards the outer of Stan in the blue and pink, Razor Royal, the stripes. OG blue with the yellow cap towards the inner of Niche Market and offshore account, the pale colours. Nenefar, Colonge and Tatnan come next as they take the fence away from the stands. Ben Salem is getting closer. A juddering mistake by Kicks for free at the rear of the field. The package is still in the same position he was a circuit or so ago with about four or five behind, still travelling comfortably, but a little bit wider out on the race course. So heading now down towards the next fence. Joe Lively, Comply or Die and Chief Dan George. They're the first three to rise. Razor Royale pecked. So did New Alco towards the back of the field. The t'other one in midfield being ridden along as they 
they make their progress on now towards the next fence. The package is getting a little closer towards the outside as they take the water jump. So it's Comply or Die who led over it from Joe Lively's stand. Niche Markets travelled strongly throughout and is just behind the leaders. Then Chief Dan George who's just lost a place or two with offshore accounts as they take the next fence. Razor Royale again was a little awkward. Uh, behind these, the package is niggled along now in midfield. Ben Salem is travelling comfortably enough towards the outer in the nose band as they head towards another fence and Niche Market was a new leader there as they step over it. Kicks for free struggling. Beat the Boys is also struggling as they head now towards the next fence which is the ditch and uh, as they come they're going to bypass it looks the big ditch. So that's where three came down. It looks like they're going to be waved around it. Dolls have been put out so Niche Market leads them towards the next fence. Comply or die. OG on the outside of Stan. Chief Dan George Tattenham comes next. Offshore account Ben Salem is getting into it now. Travelling well in eighth place ahead of the package. Then Nenefar Colonge from Theatrical Moment Bible Lord. Joe Lively has lost a lot of ground as they begin now the run downhill and it's Niche Market who leads the turn down then towards the third line Last. Leading from in second, OG, who's done really well to get back into it after that mistake. Uh, ben Salem continues to travel very strongly behind the leaders with Chief Dan George. Then the red cap can play or die offshore account. The package making ground towards the outside as they take this fence. OG landed in front from Chief Dan George. Ben Salem is still travelling very strongly. Niche market towards the inside. Then offshore account, theatrical moment. The package can't go on. Then can play or die. So racing towards the second last. And as they take it, Chief Dan George, OG. He's down on his nose and Ben Salem's a faller and has brought down, nearly brought, has brought down Tattenham. So as they turn back towards home, OG on the inside of Chief Dan George and offshore account. They're the three that turn back towards the final fence theatrical moment. The package down the outside under a strong right beginning to close. So it's OG's overcome a couple of errors. He is in front at the last. From in second, Chief Dan George. The package staying on down the outside. OG, Chief Dan George with a white face. The package is coming home strongly Chief Dan George by a neck from OG it's Chief Dan George driven out the package is coming strongly Chief Dan George is all out but just I think hung on Chief Dan George the package close between the two OG third offshore account the other one Ollie McGurn and theatrical moment well how wonderful Chief Dan George the best horse at James Moffat's yard has just held on in the William Hill Trophy 2010 and of a great ride from Paddy Aspel. The package tried to run him down, but he was just niggled along at halfway and was always trying to play catch up as the leaders powered on. He almost got there, according to that evidence, with Timmy Murphy riding for David Pipe. In third, it's OG who's run a cracker for Jimmy McCarthy and Rennie Robeson. And in fourth, it's a really good run from offshore account for David Casey and Charlie Swan, just done for speed up the hill, but stuck to their task well. They haven't yet announced it on course, but Surely Chief Jan George has held on. He's the favourite. He is the star of the Moffat Yard. He was a high-class staying hurdler. He had his day at Aintree a few seasons back, beating some much vaunted rivals, the likes of Wichita linemen Here and the like. The Here's the result. Of the photograph for first place. First, number 15, Chief Dan Chief George. Chief Dan George has won. He has won, 10 years of age, Paddy Aspel riding, great victory for him, positive he was on this horse. And this horse had latent ability, 